Okay, you guys, we're gonna see how many orbs there are today. Today is the 13th, I think. Not that that matters. Oh yeah, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of them. And by the way, I want to say something, and I'm not going to give any hints to any names. Not that the majority of you would even know who I'm talking about. But still, there may be somebody out there who would listen to this and they would catch on to who I'm talking about. And so, I'm only going to give just a tiny bit of information here. Um, I was talking to someone a while back, not long ago actually, um, and it's somebody that I know very, very well. And I was talking to them about these orbs in my home. And they saw it on my phone, you know, and they saw everything I was pointing out, all the shapeshifters, all that, all the shapeshifting birds, bugs, all that weird stuff going on. They saw it all. They saw the spirits. They saw the faces. They saw everything. And they were pointing it out themselves. I wasn't even having to show them. They were just pointing, saying, yes, there it is. I see it. But then they said, well, I don't have any orbs in my home. And I said, do you mind if I take my phone and go into one of your rooms where it's dark and just film and see? And they said, no, but I know you're not going to find any. I said, okay, well, I might not. I said, but I just want to see. So they said, well, go ahead. So I did. And within a split second, there it was. So I came back and I showed them. I said, you have orbs in your home. And they couldn't believe it. <laughs> I mean, they believed it, but you know what I'm saying. We all have these in our home. Now, I'm not saying everybody has as many as I do, because I don't know that. The person that I filmed in their home, they didn't have as many in their home as I do here. They didn't, so I, I'll say that. But, um, again, you know, I feel these are straight up demons. <laughs> um, I had somebody comment on one of my videos saying that, uh, you know, they, I can't remember exactly what it was said, what was said, but something along the lines of, uh, I think they asked me if I was smoking or something, and I said, no, I don't smoke. I vape, now I do vape. However, I was not vaping at all during the filming of that video, so that was not coming from the vape, it wasn't coming from the stove, a fireplace, a candle burning, or anything like that. There was no smoke in my home whatsoever. That was just straight up weirdness, orbs going on in my home. Um, but anyway, they said something along the lines of, about these things being seen in other dimensions or something like that. And I want to say something about that. Because of the hour we're in, when you look around at the whole big picture, I'm talking about every single thing going on in this world. And of course, not, I don't think not everybody knows of every single thing. I don't know of every single thing going on. I'm not trying to say that, so please know that. But I'm just saying there's many people out there who doesn't know about a lot of the stuff that's going on. But when you look around at the whole big picture and you realize what hour we're truly living in the end times. Um, you know, it says in the Bible and, and I think in Satan's little season, the demons are going to be released, right? Well, I feel like along with a lot of other people, feel like the demons have most, most definitely been released. CERN has, uh, you know, um, um, admitted to it and all that stuff so you know and all these witches and warlocks and all that stuff that a lot of people don't believe in and I understand it because I used to not believe in it I didn't I didn't think that spells and all that could really happen but <laughs> I was terribly wrong because it all it all is very real in the demonic realm you know all that stuff um, when you listen to all these musicians saying that, you know, they summon demons before they go on stage, They're, these demons come into them, and um, it's really the demons that are performing, not the actual singers, and that's why I see so many demons around these singers, is because they're filled with demons, and they literally say, you know, it's not us playing the guitar, I can never play the guitar that good, it's literally the demons working through me, it's them doing it. And it's not just one or two or three musicians saying this. It's many of them. Many. And so anyway, you know, these things right here, um, you know, they call them quantum dots. Uh, I've heard others call them orbs as well. I pretty much call them orbs. 
but as I stated in one of my very recent videos, when um, I have carefully examined these things and zoom in, you can literally see the spirits. You can see them around them and um, they're here on earth. They're not in some other dimension. They're literally here on this earth right now. And this is not me speculating. Again, this is not me making stuff up, you know, just assuming they're here. Uh, well, it looks like they're here. No, they're literally here. And this is, again, you guys, I, I have to repeat myself on this because I can't stress this enough. This is not me just making this up. It's not me speculating. It's not me just thinking I'm seeing things. I'm hearing this all over the place. And so when I see, and I'm not talking about just a few people. I'm talking about a lot of people. When I look at all this, you know, I'm like, we're all seeing the same thing. It can't be just imaginary. And these people are not crazy. You can tell they have a very good mind. A very, you know, they're smart as all get out. Um, you know, and so, and I don't know some of these people personally. I don't. I'll, I'll admit that I don't. But I've been watching them long enough to know that, you know, these people are smart as a whip. They know what's going on. And they have never acted in any way, sense, or, you know, shape or form, whatever, they don't come off as being crazy to me or anything like that, you guys. Nothing. But I just thought it's important to keep talking about this because, again, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I, I, I truly hope, I truly hope. Because time is speeding up. You know, I'm going to make another video soon before I say what I was going to say, I'm going to make another video soon showing some of the decode channels that I watch. It is it, it is so helpful when you know how to decode. It tells you everything you need to know. The devil has to tell us without telling us per se what he's up to and what he's going to do. It's been proven. This is not speculation from anybody. These decodes are real. They're true. God is a, the most high God is a God of numbers. Okay, Satan replicates. He does everything the Most High God does. He wanted to be like the Most High God. He does want to be like the Most High God still to this day. You know, and so with that being said, um, whatever God does, he tries to do. So God is a God of numbers. He, he works with numbers. So all these symbols that they use, all these numbers, um, these color combinations, and there's so many more things, the hand signals, the hand gestures, all that. They all are using those literally to put it in our face to tell us what they're doing, what they're up to. And if you know how to decode, you can look through it. You can, and it tells you right, right there what all you need to know. So one of the videos I'm going to make soon, I'm going to give some channels that I follow. I've been following them for years. And they're Christians. You know, they worship the Most High God. And um, so, yeah. And one more thing, then I'm going to go. I wanted to say something about one of the past videos that I just made. It had this the uh, the uh, channel Casper site in it. And somebody made a comment under there. Why would you uh, use his channel or something like that? Because he's obnoxious. Okay, it's something along those lines. Let me say this. I'm not promoting his channel. That's not what I'm doing, okay? Yes, I agree. He's got an obnoxious mouth. I don't like it at all. I don't curse myself. I can't stand hearing it. I used to curse bad. But now I haven't cursed in so long, I can't even remember the last time I said a curse word. And when I hear them now, it makes me cringe. I can't stand to hear it. So please know that, you know, I'm not trying to promote his channel. What I was simply doing was trying to show the connection between these orbs being demonic and showing the orbs that I'm seeing. And not only that, the orbs that I showed in that doctor's video from Facebook, you know, showing that we have all this in our body, <laughs> whether we know it or not, we all got it in our body and whether you got the jab or not. And so, um, but yeah, so I just thought it was kind of important to you know, talk about all this. If I ever, ever show a channel and if the person is cursing, please know I'm not trying to promote that channel. I'm not going along with their cursing or whatever they're doing that's obnoxious. Please know that. I'm simply trying to show some of their content to relate it to my content is all I'm doing. That's it. Nothing more. So I'm going to go, but uh, I just thought it was important to bring that stuff up. All right, you guys, y'all take care. Y'all be safe. I love you guys, and God bless. Bye.